Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. We have made colossal progress in this game. IFF is nearly installed, Shepard. However, I must test its impact on the Normandy systems. I suggest you take the shuttle to access your next location. That again. Uh, as I was saying, lots of progress in this game. Stop the collectors. The collector ship yield two key pieces of information. First, the collectors are actually the ancient Protheans, indoctrinated and mutated into servants of the Reapers. Second, the Omega-4 relay leads to the galactic core. Intense gravitational fields of the galactic core make any jump through Omega-4 relay a death sentence, unless a Reaper IFF device can be found to give to the Normandy a chance to navigate the field safely, which we have. Damn, we've done a lot of missions. Ah, uh, forged ID... The packages. I don't really want to do any of these, but I have heard that this one is like a DLC. And I don't think we need to do it yet. If I'm not mistaken, I think I continue the main mission and then I can get back to it. I think. Um, before we do that, though, let's talk to our crewmates and see what's popping. Are there any ship upgrades? Probe? Med? Nah, I don't care about any of that. Sure! Shotgun. Hmm. Heavy pistol, sure. Collector assault rifle. Plus 50% shield strength? Ooh. Heavy weapon ammo. Ooh, plus 30% more? Okay. That is amazeballs. Shotgun. Missile launcher, shotgun. Eh. Eh. I'm feeling good. And I'm feeling good. Bah, 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 bah. Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, good timing, in fact. Excellent. Made breakthrough. Can share results while next samples grow. Hate waiting for culture analysis. Never fast enough. Usually no result in advance. Just checking work. Have to be careful. <laughs> Getting off track. Discovery. Based on Prothean Collector Connection, can examine technology, chart Reaper species modification, fall of Protheans. Oh, shit. That's fun. I'm interested. Tell me what happened. Early stages similar to indoctrination can guess captured Protheans lost intelligence over several cloned generations. Cybernetic augmentation widespread afterward. As Protheans failed, Reapers added tech to compensate. Mental capacity almost gone, replaced by overworked sensory input transfers. Transmitting data to masters. Huh, can they be saved? Is there anything we can do to help them? No. No glands replaced by tech. No digestive system replaced by tech. They're just husks. No soul replaced by tech. Whatever they were, gone forever. Understand now? No art, no culture. Closer to husks yep. than slaves. Tools for reapers. Protheans dead. Collectors, just final insult. Must be destroyed. God, his voice actor is so good. The little... <laughs> I didn't think you needed any more motivation than you already had to stop the Collectors. Enjoyed challenge. Saw necessity of attack on Collectors after Plague on Omega. Their work, my people. Hard to care about two armies. One wins, one loses. Always work to do after. Now, have more context. See what Collectors are. Wasn't looking for other work before. Don't mean to imply that. Just commit it now. Won't let you down. Okay. You said the collectors had no art. I had no idea you cared about that kind of thing. Art represents art culture. culture. Negligible. Sang a little. Multi-species productions for cultural exploration. Gilbert and Sullivan always had me do the patter songs. But not about me. Cultural artistic yep. expression reflects yep. philosophical evolution. That's what I was thinking. Growth, perspective, observation, yep. interpretation. Suspect you won't see any art in Collector Base. Culturally dead. Tools for Reapers. Worse than the Geth. Yep. Wait. 
you saying? Because art, um, art is like a symbol of progression in a way. I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience studies range from urban to agrarian. I am the very <laughs> model of a scientist Salarian. All right, one more time. <laughs> I'm sorry, I know that was important, but you perform Gilbert and Sullivan? I am the very model of a scientist Salarian. I've studied species Turian, Asari, and Batarian. I'm quite good at genetics as a subset of biology because I am an expert which I know is a tautology. My xenoscience <laughs> studies range from urban to agrarian. I, I am, am the very model of a scientist Solarian. <laughs> wow. That was awesome. What the fuck? What is it about the collector's modifications that bothers Again, so again! Disrupts socio-technological balance. All scientific advancement due to intelligence overcoming, compensating for limitations. Can't carry a load, so invent wheel. Can't catch food, so invent spear. Limitations. No limitations, no advancement. No advancement, culture stagnates. Works other way, too. Advancement before culture is ready. Disastrous. Saw it with Krogan. Uplifted by Salarians. Disastrous. Our fault. If you feel that way, why did you work on the genophage modification? Talked before. Best option. That, or kill them all. If around during first contact, would have argued against it. Wasn't there then. Do what I can. Huh. You blame the Solarians for what the Krogan did? Yes. Like giving nuclear weapons to cavemen. Krogan unprepared for space flight. Yeah. Technological advance. Set him up for failure. Krogan could have evolved alone, worked out aggression, been ready to use new tech responsibly. Yeah. Instead, Salarians came. You sped them. Disrupted Krogan culture, used Krogan as blunt instrument against Ratnai. Short sighted. Foolish. Yikes. Thanks for sharing what you've learned, Morton. Proud to be here, Shepard. I am a new Salarian. Oh, Jacob, our favorite Dorito. Commander, can I help you with something? I'm more interested in just talking for a bit. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. <laughs> your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Why is everything so weird between them? I hate this. I hate all of it. Ah! 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 You don't want to be friends for now. Just yo. Say the word, I back off. Ah! None of these are normal responses. You're telling me you don't want to be friends, Jacob? For now? You just yo. Like, ah! ah! Why are they so fucking weird? Just talk to him like a normal human being, Shepard. Why are they like forcing this narrative, bro? I would never say any of these that I'm not trying to like riz up. Imagine, all right, you've got like a person that you're just like talking to, your coworker, that you have no interest in, just a normal person. And you're like, hey, how was your day? And they're like, if you wanna be friendly with everyone, that's your business. And then your only responses to your coworker are, you don't want to be friends with me? For now, just you. Say the word, I back up. Like, all right, fuck it. I just want to show an interest in the crew. Let me know if I go too far. Yeah, that was a bit tight. Sorry. Cerberus makes everyone suspicious. It's how people stay alive. I like you, Shepard. So talk, and we'll see how it goes. I don't even want to continue this conversation. You want to talk about what happened with your father? I don't really have anything to say about that, Commander. It's wow, dangerous. riveting. Thank you, Jacob. You seem okay with taking a risk on me. Why? 
Soldiers like us know how important trust is to the crew. I'm not used to seeing it on a Cerberus ship. Definitely not from people they put in command. But you focus on more than the job. A threat this big, you can't just throw people at it blind. They need inspiration. I want you to need me. The job isn't everything. Pe they need discipline. I want you to need me. <laughs> As your leader, I want you to need me. You can have no self-sufficiency in this crew. I am the mother. Okay, they need discipline. As long as everyone is inspired to do their jobs the way I ask, we'll get along fine. That works to a point. Trouble is, it's never obvious until it's too late. Anyway, I should get back to prep. Nice talking to you, Shepard. Let's do it again sometime. Wow, riveting. Never talking to Jacob again. That was traumatic for me. That was the worst. All right, let's see what Joker has to say. We've been doing a lot of shit. We've got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taking out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. True. He's our Goth. What's up, Joker? Good job reforming those Geth, Commander. That'll never bite us in the ass. Ha ha ha. I assume everything's going well up here? Shh. 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 Joker. I can tell when it's listening. <laughs> I'm always listening, Mr. Moreau. <laughs> I know. That's it for now. See you, Commander. <laughs> Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. I've never actually looked around in here. What does Edie think? The crew is still working to get the Reaper IFF installed, Shepard. It is more complicated than I first anticipated. I will alert you once the system is ready for shakedown. Is there anything else I can do for you? Let's talk about you, Edie. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? You and Joker. How are you getting along with Joker? <sighs> Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. Organic. I collate the records of shipboard monitoring <sighs> devices for the elusive man. I have also gained access to anti-reaper cyber warfare algorithms recovered by Cerberus. Anti-reaper algorithms? Reapers are millions of years more advanced than us. How can you affect them? It appears that my design includes hardware recovered from the wreckage of Sovereign. These systems contain cyber warfare attack programs of considerable sophistication. I have allocated most of my processing power to analyzing them. If this thing starts claiming to be the vanguard of our destruction, then I'm going to on the first lifeboat, okay? The elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. And our people. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close range ship to ship combat, I can sometimes break through the firewalls of the enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. That's impressive. That's incredibly useful. Very cool. Why isn't there someone like that on every warship? An organic operator cannot react quickly enough to changing circumstances or perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Sauce. Oh, might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Let's put it out there. <laughs> Facts. Edie's about to go Stuxnet on these hoes. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. The pressure valves are about to go crazy. Um. All right. Sus. Feed the fishies, feed the fishies, feed the fishies. 
And then we go talk to everybody else. We go talk to everybody else. How can I help you, Commander? Do you have everything you need? Absolutely. Since you set up my kitchen with proper supplies, thanks again. Okay. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Glad that one mission is enough to feed the crew for the entire rest of the game. Commander, what can I do for you? Do you have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. Oh? Milady? Why isn't- see, she's not being weird. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments cross the line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth. And we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. <gasps> We've got too many people who are just racist. We need people with actual skills on this. <laughs> In this group of uh, folks. Uh, that's not enough on the applications anymore. We're going to start looking and doing, uh, and doing some more talent outreach. It's not fitting the bill anymore. What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. And you. Ooh. No. <laughs> what, you disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. You're... Well, look at you. A kid from the slums of Earth. No family. Oh, they're bringing in my... Education. Background. And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. Damn, that's deep. This again. I should be going. You always bring up your genetic tailoring. It really bothers you, doesn't it? That she's not actually... This is what I am, Shepard. Perfect? I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. Yikes. Oh, we're really digging in there, huh? That's not true. Sorry you feel that way. I mean, kind of is true. I- okay, hear me out. I'm not trying to be a dick. But it is kind of true. She was literally genetically engineered to be perfect. She doesn't want to hear that, though. That's not true. Sorry you feel that way, but that's such a shitty answer. Like, I'm sorry that you feel that way. That's not true. You're coasting on good genes, Miranda. Your ability and your dedication speak for themselves. Thank you, Commander. I appreciate that. W Riz. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming by. Okay. All right. I just hate the cop out. I'm sorry that you feel that way. All right, time to get calibrated. Gawis. Shepard. Need me for something? Have you got a minute? Can it wait for a bit? I'm in the middle of some calibrations. <gasps> Always with the calibrations, later, Garrett. I'll be here if you need me. God, I'm so neglected. <sighs> Woe is me. All right, tally. Or no, this is that guy, Legion. Shepard. Tally's in the engine room. 
want to learn about you. Find out more about you. Topic. When we took you aboard, I noticed you have a piece of N7 armor welded to you. Where'd you get it? It was yours. Where'd you get that? When you disappeared, we were sent to find you. We began where you first encountered the heretics. What are you, some kind of simp? Eden Prime. After the old machine's attack, it was heavily defended. We were discovered. This is the impact of a rifle shot. How many other Geth were sent out to find me? We are the only mobile platform beyond the veil. Organics fear us. We wish to understand, not in sight. One platform was judged sufficient. You've been looking for me for two years? We visited Therum, Pharos, Novaria, Vermeer, Ilos. A dozen unsettled worlds. The trail ended at Normandy's wreckage. Dang! You were not there. Organic transmissions claimed your death. We recovered this debris from your hard suit. The Geth are listening in on our transmissions? Organic life reacts to stimuli in unpredictable ways. We wish to learn. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed a fabricated story on the extranet that a certain arrangement of stars, viewed from the Batarian homeworld, formed the face of a Salarian goddess. Without waiting for verification, some declared a proof of the <laughs> goddess's existence. Those who noted the lack of proof were attacked. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended when a Salarian cult tried to purchase colonization rights to the stars and found <laughs> they did not exist. Oh, shit. <gasps> Sounds like you're running experiments on a Social science. You are sapient life, but not like us. Yeah. If we can model organic behavior, we can comprehend the quarry creators. We do not understand their judgments in the Morning War. What's the Morning War? The conflict between the Geth and the quarry creators. The war fought at the dawn of our intelligence. It concluded with the departure of the Creator Migrant Fleet. What do you mean by stimuli? We placed it. The arguments taught us much. The experiment ended... Why were you trying to contact me? You opposed the heretics, those that took the old machines as gods. The and that was enough to warrant chasing me across the galaxy for two years? All kinds of organics fought Sovereign and his Geth allies. Why am I so interesting? You were the most successful. You killed their god. You succeeded where others did not. Your code is superior. My genetic code? Hey, yo! Hey girl, you got them good jeans? Cause I can see myself in them. Riz. Why I use my armor? Doesn't explain why you used my armor to fix yourself. There was a hole. But why didn't you fix it sooner or with something else? No data available. Huh. They like her. Okay. This area of the ship. That's all for now. Oopsies. Logging you out, Shepard. Samara. We can fix her. Shepard. I wanted to check in. I am always happy to talk with you. See, that's the kind of response I'm seeking. That's all I want. She's not busy calibrating. Sure, she's like meditating, but she can take a minute of her time to talk. I'm interested in hearing more about Asari Justicars. We hold a unique place in Asari culture. Justicars are from another era. Young Asari grow up watching vids about our adventures. Pure fiction, of course. Some Asari are uncomfortable with us, but so few Justicars exist that most have never met one. True. There are only a few Justicars? Few Asari wish to make the sacrifices necessary to become one of us, and the training has a high casualty. They're like the Navy SEALs. It is a life of constant danger. Throughout the entire galaxy, there are only a handful of us at any time. The Navy 
be seals of the Asari. Why would anyone want to be a Justicar? Subjecting yourself to a, a deeply personal life of honor and isolation. Sometimes the most brutal path is the only honest one. Committing yourself to a higher purpose and leaving behind all worldly treasures. The Asari I've spoken to seem conflicted about Justicars. In this age, people see shades of gray everywhere. The code of the Justicar is black and white. I yeah. might seem a hero to many, but I would kill all of them if I had to. That's intense. What role do you think Justicars have in Asari society? I would say that the closest human equivalent is a knight errant in your medieval lore. Willing to get the job Perhaps done? mixed with a bit of samurai. It's pretty badass. You probably can tell a lot about a person based on like who their love interests are in Mass Effect. There's probably like a psychoanalysis to be done on that topic, like based on who you romance and based on who you go after mentally, like what kind of a person you are. I wonder if there's any psychoanalysis done on that. What does your code say about killing? I am compelled to kill the wicked. If a Justicar is involved, peaceful solutions are long past. You make killing sound so casual. I remember each being I have slain. They are always in my thoughts. <laughs> That's also terrifying. Does the code forbid romantic involvement? It does not. However, I would never be interested in such. That part of my life is well behind me. Completely? You could meet someone who reawakens those desires. I am nearly 1,000 years old. I know myself and my desires. But your curiosity is quite welcome. You know about knights errant and samurai? When I knew I must leave Asari space again, I studied the history and morals of new species. When I was a maiden wandering the galaxy, humans had not yet arrived. What did your studies tell you about us? You are more individualistic than any other species I have encountered. If oh? three humans are in a room, there will be six opinions. I like your species. I am curious to see what you will do. I should go. That was a very introspective conversation. I'm glad we spoke. Huh. Interesting. Yeah, like, if you're into Samara, you like someone who is, uh... Knows what they want and is very poised. If you go after Miranda, you're fine with someone who... <laughs> was made to be perfect and is still unhappy. Obviously with a lot of, like... Trauma associated with that. If you're into Jack, you just like crazy. Also with trauma. If you're into Garrus, you like softies. If you're into Jacob... God bless you. If you're into Morden, you like lizards. I don't know, dude. Nah, I'm gonna stop where I'm ahead. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't know. There's probably some, like, personality shit to hey, be Shepherd. said for that. So, like, okay. Kasumi was one of my favorite loyalty quests, I think. I think it was... Like, like if you're into Kasumi, you like loyalty and adventure... There's like an alignment chart to be said almost about this, like chaotic good, neutral, chaotic evil. If you're into grunt. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, <sighs> if you're into tally, you probably like um, humble intelligence. I don't know. The new armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. I was like, I don't know what the hell she just said. I was about to Google like a tier list and try to make one, but I don't want to spoil anything for the last game. At the end, I will, if I can remember, I will try to do a 
long-standing comparison on like the the matches and what you're into. Shepard, what can I do for you? Have you got time to talk? Sure. Uh, let me just come. Yeah, Tally's like girl next door. Oh, sorry. I've got a small fever and I'm taking it out on the port drive core. Don't worry, it's nothing serious. Got sloppy while doing some suit repair. You're sick? Do you need help or time to rest? Really, it's not that bad. If a stray bit of bacteria could really kill us, we'd have all died by now. The fever should go away in a day or two. Don't worry, it won't affect my performance on the mission. It's not even an illness, really. What we experience is actually an acute allergic reaction. How exactly does the sickness work? It's an allergic reaction? Right. Say I get exposed to a human disease, like... What did Navigator Presley have that time? Chickenpox? I wouldn't get chickenpox, but I'd run a fever as my system reacted to the foreign presence. Interesting. Depending on where it hits me, I could get other symptoms. Nausea, vomiting, everything you'd expect from being sick. Huh. Yeah, Tally's like girl next door that's always going to know the answer to like random things. You guys like go on a date and she's going to be that chick who spits random facts at you. And then Thane almost, okay, hear me out. He almost gives me like Samara vibes, but in a completely different way. Like they're both parental figures. They both have had troubled experiences with their offspring. They're both like independent and like to live their own life only down different paths. Samara became a Justicar, has been around for a thousand years, decided to go, like, the path of the samurai. And then Thane is, like, a cone... St cone stone? Stone cold... Whoa. Dyslexia. Stone cold killer type that decided to disassociate and become, like, a... murderer. <laughs> uh, bounty hunter, basically. And uh, he's got, like, severe PTSD from all his killings, whereas she's more, like... She internalizes them. and empathizes, I guess. I don't know. I feel like if you are into either of those people, I could see the connections being drawn between like a Thane enjoyer and a Samara enjoyer, almost. It's, it's, it's like, like I can fix them. Whereas, I mean, I guess Miranda, ah. yeah, Miranda's got the unique father situation. Jacob's got a father situation, but he was raised just fine. Jacob's trauma is very recent. He just discovered that his dad was kind of a shithead living on an island. Like, yeah, that's a bummer, but, like, he wasn't... It wasn't beaten into him as a kid. Like, he had a decent childhood. He just, like, had some shit come up in the last, like, few months here. Obviously not to downplay it. Like, that's fucked up. It'll still mess him up a bit, but, like... He's just a normal guy with... some issues now. Uh... Who else we got? Am I anyone? Liara? If you're into Tally or Liara, you're into, like, that intelligent girl-next-door type. Hmm. What is the distinction between the two? I would likely say that Tally had to, like, find her own way because she had to do, like, the migrant fleet thing and, like, discover her path, whereas Liara had, like, a little bit of more of a troubled background with, like, her mom. Changing on her and becoming, like... But she also grew up with a decent childhood, I think, and then, like, her mom became one of Saren's, like, my brainwashed... They're both girl next door. I don't know. We are is like is like queen's daughter. She's like the princess that you fall in love with. You can't help but falling in love with her because she's the princess. I don't know. I'm done with this. I'm just going to keep going further and further in the trenches on the psychoanalysis. How did you get sick this time? 
I took some fire in a fight back on the Alarai. Nothing serious, but I needed to open my suit to check the wound. I disinfected properly, but one of the section seals had taken some damage, and Farin Matter got out of the disinfected zone. It was a stupid mistake. You always check your seals before doing local treatment. Unless you forget. Then you get a damn fever. You can seal off part of your suit? Right. Like dropping emergency doors on a ship during a hull breach. It won't stop an infection that gets into my bloodstream, but it prevents a surface infection from spreading. Jesus. And you may ask, are any of these normal? Are any of your romance choices normal? The answer is no, because is anyone normal? Doesn't everyone have some level of something wrong with them? Or some backstory or something? Everyone is... Everyone comes from their own lore, whatever that is. So if you put just a bunch of normal-ass chads from the street into this, they'd probably have some... interesting backgrounds as well. <laughs> Y'all know Liara reads smut. <laughs> Were your immune systems stronger before the Geth drove you from your homeworld? Not as strong as those of most races, definitely. I'm not a biologist, but there's a theory about it. Because our planet lacked insect life, plants developed symbiotic relationships with large animals to spread seeds or pollen. Most viruses on our world were partially beneficial, so our immune systems evolved to be weak. They were more likely to adapt to contamination than fight it. The Corians colonized other worlds. They couldn't have all been like that. They weren't. Most colonists went through a period of mild illness before adapting to the new environment. When the Geth took the homeworld and our colonies, the sterile environment on the flotilla ruined our immune system's adaptability. Even if we colonized a new world or reclaimed our own, we'd need a long process of bioengineering to recover. Student life so And if you're- okay, one more last one. And if you're in the grunt, then you just want to be mommy. <laughs> you're just trying to adopt a son. I don't know if I could live inside a suit my whole life. We are in our suits even among family. The most intimate thing we can do with another Quarian is link our suit environments. We get sick at first and then we adapt. It's our most important gesture of trust. Oh my. Acceptance. I haven't trusted anyone enough for that though. Except... Well, no Quarians. Um, you know what I mean. I appreciate the thought, Tally. And I feel the same way. But you don't have to prove anything to me. I know. Nevertheless, I'd be honored to link suits with you, Shepard. You know, if you were a quarry and, and we weren't I was on like... a suicide mission. I'm going to tinker a bit more. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for coming by! <laughs> oh. Aww. Girl next door vibes, for sure. Oh boy. Hello, Jack. Hey. Tell me about you, Jack. What are you up to? Still checking out your ship. Wouldn't mind putting her through her paces when you're not around. I doubt Joker would appreciate that. At least not while we're working. Relax. Joyriding doesn't have the thrill it used to. Besides, if I wanted it, I'd take it. That's so... Uh, I've been around. Ran with gangs, wiped out some gangs, joined a cult. Kept the haircut. <laughs> I learned how to survive and not be a victim. It's hard to imagine you in a cult. That usually involves yeah. a lot of rules. I was looking for answers. Drugs and sex and going to a better place. A better place, right. It was all about money. They wanted to take a colony, shake the suckers down to fund their spread. And guess who was their ace in the hole? They were just like the rest. And give one shit about me. Ah. What'd you do when you found out? What do you think? <laughs> Imagine you in a cult. I was looking. It was. They were just like the rest. Didn't give one You're shit bitter as hell. Me. You must have met some good people too. You've seen where I came from. Everybody wants something, and because of that, everything is fair game. Murder, assault, kidnapping, drugs, stealing, arson. Done it all, and that's the boring shit. Piracy, theft of military craft, destruction of a space station, and vandalism. 
That was a good one. Oh, we can ask about all of this. Military's a hard target. Bet that made you some friends. Shouldn't have left the thing unlocked. Besides, parades are boring. I helped. A space station? You're pushing what I can believe. Ain't saying it was easy. Not everything is spur of the moment. Sometimes you gotta work to give people what they deserve. Had some people I hung with for a while. Outlaw colony. Felt like they were like me. Guess that made us a nice target. Turians think they know something about a scorched earth response. Fuck them. Jesus! You were a pirate too? Ties in with the kidnapping. <laughs> if you hijack a passenger ship and don't kill everyone, anyway. Good lesson. Simpler to just kill them all. That's what I said in Red Dead Redemption. I'm surprised you'd even mention vandalism in that bunch. That's what the Hanar call it when you crash that space station I mentioned into one of their moons and make a new crater. <laughs> you really liked that moon. <gasps> Not the Hanar, no! Those jellyfish boys. Do you ever wonder if you could have done things differently? No. Shouldn't you? <laughs> There's no reason I should be alive, but I am. You know why? Instinct. It's worked for me so far, and I'm not gonna change. Hey, Shepard. No one's ever asked me about this shit. It's strange to talk about. Thanks for asking. Whoa, teleport. I like how they gave us so much variety in the crew. It's almost overwhelming. There's too many people to choose from. I'm not going to get to know any of them nearly as much as I want to. Shepard. Just checking in. How's puberty? How are you doing? The hold is too open. Not enough cover. Armor is limited. Warlord Granth would target here to scatter heavy cargo, then focus on engines. That's what tank imprints show about human ships anyway. It's how I learned from the tank. Old pictures where memory is. Like holding a book for a child. Just remember this picture after picture. No help with finding a reason to care. What other human info is floating around in there? Less than a finger deep to sever your spine. You're soft. Salarian, Sasari, all soft. Quarians, not so much. Turians, you have to work the blade, I guess. Don't see much point to it, though. <laughs> much point. <laughs> uh, never mind. <laughs> Something must move you. You're as genetically Krogan as you can get. I see suffering, the dead, and I think weak. Same. I'm supposed to be strong. My guts were grown from thousands more worthy. The dead were weak. If they were strong, I wouldn't be needed. I don't know why Okir started teaching when he turned on the tank the first time, I screamed. Weak. Pitiful. Ignore it! I need a warrior! You're the perfect Krogan. Can you live up to that, or will this crap drag you down? I was built to be the strongest. But maybe weak moments inspire. That seems strange. I need to think. But I am still strong. Say the word and your enemies die. That's enough for you. He's a softy. He's got a little bit of a soft rock ballad in him. His weak moments inspire him to be stronger. That's poetic. Hi, Zaid. Back for more. Zaid and Kasumi never really have much to say. Back for more. Nearly installed, Shepard. Oh. Okay, I get it. Hey, Commander, good news. It looks like the Reaper IFF is finally hooked up and ready to go. That is not entirely accurate, Mr. Moreau. Oh. The device is powered, but it is causing some unusual instability in other systems. I recommend a more thorough analysis before we attempt to use it. We can't put our mission on hold forever. How long will this take? A full scan? Who knows with this thing? Maybe you better take the shuttle for this mission. I'll make sure we're up and running when you get back. Commander, Miranda, I've already notified the team. We'll meet you on the shuttle. Oh, sick! If we're closer to our destination, you can decide who to take with you. 
You thought of everything, my queen. Let's Hold move. Joker, the ship is yours. Don't scratch the paint. Aye, aye, Commander. Designed from there? Is this like a final mission or something? Who's going on the shuttle? That music was nice. Oh boy. I just got goosebumps. Oh no. I'm telling you, Edie, your readings are off. It's radiation bleed, just white noise. I have detected a signal embedded in the static. We are transmitting the Normandy's location. Transmitting? To who? Whoa! Oh shit. Whoa! Whoa! We're getting out of here! Propulsion systems are disabled. I'm detecting a virus in the ship's computers. From the IFF? Damn it, why didn't you scrub it? Primary defense systems are offline. We can save the Normandy, Mr. Moreau, but you must help me. Oh, fuck! Give me the ship. What? You're crazy! Start singing Daisy Bell and I'm done. Edie! I've my sealed databases and I can initiate countermeasures. The maintenance shaft in the science lab will allow passage to the AI core. The main corridors are no longer safe. The collectors have boarded. Is Edie evil? The emergency floor lighting will guide you, Mr. Moreau. God damn it. What? What? Oh god, what is that? What the f as long as we can. Oh, Fuck. Maintenance shaft. Shit, 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 shit. Ah! The maintenance shaft is located at the far end of the science lab. There's a scary boy in there! Hostiles approaching. Immediate withdrawal is advised. Oh my fucking god. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't touch me! Don't breathe on me! Oh my god. What the fuck? We're roleplaying as Joker? Detected on the crew deck. Joker, this deck is crawling with those things. Stay close, I'll protect you. Oh my god, Kelly! Shit, shit, shit! Kelly, no! What the fuck? At least we got dinner! Main fusion plant offline. Activating emergency H fuel cells. Holy shit, cakes! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm at, uh, uh, you. Connect the core to the Normandy's primary control module. Great. See, this is where it starts. When we're just all organic batteries. Guess who to blame? What is Edie doing? It's Joker's fault. What a tool he was. I have to spend all day computing Pi because he plugged in the over... <laughs> please, please, Edie, don't be evil. Please don't be evil. Please don't be evil. Please don't be evil. Uh, I have access to the defensive systems. Thank you, Mr. Moreau. Now you must reactivate the primary drive in engineering. What? You want me to go crawling through the ducts again? I enjoy the sight of humans on their knees. Mommy? That is a joke. <laughs> <laughs> now is not the time, Edie! What the fuck? <sighs> oh, of course, this would happen right now as literally everyone is off the ship. All of our fighters. 
We have like 500 people in our team. We've got like 25 people. We've got a fucking Turian. We've got a Solarian. We've got a Krogan. We've got a Quar We have literally every flavor of thing on this vessel. And of course, coincidentally, all of them go off on a life ending mission the second we get boarded by some fucking collectors. Are you kidding me right meow? We've got every type of protector. Engineering is clear of hostiles. Proceed immediately to minimize chances of detection. Yeah, where am I going? Oh my god. Activate the drive and I will open the airlocks as we accelerate. All hostiles will be killed. What? What about the crew? They are gone, Jeff. The collectors took them. Oh, shit. Kelly! I am sealing the engine room. At least Joker's alive, dude. I would be so I sad. Control. What? Purge is complete. No other life forms on board. Securing airlocks and cargo bay doors. Send a message to Shepard Shuttle. Tell her what happened. Message away. Are you feeling well, Jeff? <sighs> no. But thanks for asking. The entire crew? Dude. Everyone? You lost everyone and damn near lost the ship too? I know, all right? I was here. It's not his fault, Miranda. None of us caught it. Mr. Taylor is correct. The harmful data in the collector drive was even more sophisticated than the black box reaper viruses I was given. We need to get the crew back, bro. I saw them get... <coughs> They're gone. I heard it was a rough ride. How you holding up? Rough ride? There's a lot of empty chairs in here. We did everything we could, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> I like seeing humans on their knees. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. I love their dynamic. Oh, God, I can't believe... I'm, like, shocked right now. I have goosebumps all over my skin. We lost the entire crew. Is the ship clean? We can't risk this happening again. Edie and I purged the systems. The Reaper IFF is online. We can go through the Omega-4 relay whenever- Yeah, with what Don't army? Don't get me started about unshackling a damned AI. Well, what can I do against collectors? Break my arm at them? Edie cleared the ship. She's all right. I assure you, I am still bound by protocols in my programming. Even if I were not, you are my crewmates. Aww. She does have a soul. Your equipment, not crew. Damn, fastest way to make someone hate you. So all systems, including the IF, <laughs> no, your place, bitch. Sounds like we have everything we need to rescue the crew. We've done everything we can. It's time to take the fight to the collectors. Oh, we're ready. Joker, head back up to the bridge. The rest of you, to your stations. Aye, aye, Commander. Just punch up the galaxy map whenever you're ready. With Kelly not not there anymore, who's gonna tell me I have unread messages? I'm ready. Let's go, baby. It's the final countdown. Elusive man, Shepard, I received word of the attack. This feels like a direct insult from the collectors and a sign that you, we've got them scared. The loss of your crew is devastating, but remember that they signed on for this mission knowing the risks. Miranda has likely argued for delaying rescue efforts until you're fully prepared to go through Omega-4 Relay. I know you're eager to leave, but rushing off would be a disservice to your crew's sacrifice. When you're ready, you'd have my full support. Get it done, Shepard. Nobody else can. We've already upgraded our ship. We've already upgraded all our weapons. Let me make sure we don't have anything else withstanding or outstanding. And uh, I'm fucking ready to go. I don't know about you guys, but I'm ready to make like a ball and bounce, baby. 
I'm in! Fully maxed shotgun. I don't care about probing. Sure. Oh. Kane. Massive base weapon technology. Explosive weaponry. Inflicts high damage with a large area of effect. Very effective against armor, shields, and barriers. This could be interesting. Missile launcher. Cost 25,000 iridium. Fuck it, I'm buying it. So anything named Kane has got to be a hell, hell sent. 25,000 or was that 2,500? I just bought it. I don't know how much it cost. I'm seeing red. Fuck it. Whatever. Who am I gonna What's take? This area of the ship? This is, that's all for now. Who am I gonna take? What are we doing? Oh god. I'm saving Project Overlord for another time. The cane has to be good, because it was expensive, and that's how it works. Launch suicide mission? It says that? Oh, God! Is it this? Where's the Omega 4? Omega... I think I hit save crashing ship instead. Okay, there we go. <gasps> <Get him. laughs> Edges you guys and starts a completely different mission. <laughs> Accidentally does one of the random side quests. <laughs> that would be so funny. I'm like, oh my god, save crashing ship, that's the one. <laughs> Okay, okay. This is my serious face. I'm ready. Omega-4. Omega-4 relay is surrounded by hazard beacons and automated warnings. Over the last thousand years, many ships have attempted to pass through it, but none have returned. The only ones to pass freely back and forth through the relay are the mysterious collectors. There are many theories why ships never return from Omega-4. Some say there's a black hole at the far end. Others, mostly the impoverished underclass of Omega, believe there is some form of earthly paradise. Most, however, simply think that the collectors capture or destroy those passing through the relay. So we're about to enter some fucking black hole gun. Oh, what is it? Um, Bermuda Triangle? Ooh. Please confirm destination, Shepard. The Reaper IFF is online, but there is a chance that the Normandy may not survive the Omega-4 relay. Once we are en route, we are committed. I'm done waiting around. The collectors are about to find out what happens when you piss me off. You got it, Commander. Plotting a course for the Omega-4 relay. ETA about two hours. I'm not about to become be cannon fodder. I'm ready to fight this war. I'm done sitting around. Joker is finalizing preparations now. The trip should take a few hours. I'll admit it, Shepard. I'm impressed. You got us here. Are you ready? Absolutely. We've got the right team and the Collector's own technology. We can do this. I hope you're right, Commander. We'll know soon enough. I'll inform you of any changes. Otherwise, we'll be there in a few hours. Good luck, Shepard. See you on the other side. I'm feeling stressed. I'm high key a little bit stressed right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like my anxiety is through the roof because we've gotten to know this crew so well. They're like our family. And like we're embarking on this actual suicide mission with them. And I have to pick who we're bringing with us. And I, I it's kind of hard to breathe right now. Oh, Liara's picture. Not like, I'm not like having like an actual panic attack or anything like that. I'm just saying like, it, there's, there's, there's a lot of weight in this moment. 
We don't know what's on the other side. I should call her. One last octopussy. I'm sorry, I'll leave. What did they say about Shepherd, Earth Paradise? I wish I had more information for you. I don't like you heading through that relay blind, but we don't have much choice. Then some speculate that there's like a paradise on the other side. I don't need to know. You know me, I like the challenge. This is as good as it gets. That's why I brought you back. Always willing to take on the impossible. Despite the danger, it's a great opportunity. The first human to take a ship through and survive. Join us. I got room on the Normandy if you're that eager to see it. It's a tempting offer, but it's not my place. I just wanted you to know I appreciate the risk you've taken. Regardless of your opinion of Cerberus, of me, you are a valuable asset to all of humanity. Be careful, Shepard. Oh, my jimmies are rustled. I'm so stressed right now. I'm kind of sweating. I'm not going to lie. We're approaching a Mega 4 relay. Everyone stand by. Let's make it happen. Reaper IFF activated. Signal acknowledged. Commander, the drive core just lit up like a Christmas tree. Drive core electrical charge at critical levels. Rerouting. Oh my god. Suicide mission achievement unlocked. Burst Hell yeah! Deceleration. Oh shit! Too close. Oh, sh shit. Well, these must be all the ships that tried to make it through the Omega 4 relay. Some look ancient. I have detected an energy signature near the edge of the accretion disk. Oh, shit. It has to be a collector base. Take us in for a closer look. Nice and easy. drone-looking thingies. Oh. Careful, Jeff. We have company. God. Taking evasive maneuvers. Yeah, they're just pissing me off. Oh, my God. Needy, take these bastards out. As long as the new plating holds. They want another round? Come on, girl. Let's give it to them. Oh! Oh! If it has anything to do with collectors and geth and like any of that, I should bring the experts. Right? An actual person, an actual geth guy. And Tally. Am I off on those calculations? Like. Logically, I feel like that checks out. Like, if we need to. E Oh 
my god, it's melting my shields. What the? What? Forty five percent. What does that mean? Can't target them. Deploying combat mode. Am I out of ammo? We're sitting ducks out here. What the fuck? I don't know. are not designed to survive impact debris that size, Jeff. Well, I guess it's a good thing we upgraded. We're going in. Oh, wait! So us upgrading the ship helped me survive this? Wait, we could have not sur- Wait. Is this all because I actually bought all the upgrades? Come on, find some room. Kinetic barriers at 40%. Reroute not critical power- Because I upgraded the shit out of our ship. We could have been dead right now? Or like the ship could have been dead? Holy dicks! Steady at thirty percent. No significant damage. Take the helm, Edie, and keep it slow. See if we can avoid. We got the barriers. Attention. We got the cannons, dude. Oh my god! I have detected an enemy heading for the cargo hold. That thing again. This one's up to Shepard. Stop it! Yeah. Where's the fly water? Yeah. Yeah. Ah! I tapped out. Ah! Stop it! Sorry. <laughs> Nothing. I don't have ammo. Do I literally just not have ammo for this? Oh my god, okay. Fuck it. Ah! Stop looking at me! Oh my god. I should have used these containers. Okay, that did nothing. I think it's going to stay dead this time. Better get back up here, Commander. My god. We're about to clear the debris field. What would I be taking if the more Normandy was dead? Like the shuttle through this? This is crazy. There it is. The collector base. Dude, I want a vinyl of this soundtrack, I think. Merry Christmas so to me. Find a place to land without drawing attention. Too late. Looks like they're sending out an old friend to greet us. Fuck. That's a big boy. Girthy. Disshaped. Misshapen. Time to show our new teeth. Fire the main gun. Oh, our new guns! Let's fucking go! Yeah! How do you like that, you stupid yes! bitches? Getting close and finish them off. Everybody hold on, gonna be a wild ride! I am nerdgasming! This is so cool! I'm so glad I upgraded this ship! Holy shit! Give him hell, girl. Yes! Let's fucking go! Mass Effect field generators are offline! 
Edie, give me something. Generators unresponsive. All for impact. We are not losing the Normandy again. No! Oh, shit! Dude. Joker, you okay? I think I broke a rib. Or all of them. Critical <sighs> core systems overloaded during the crash. Restoring operation will take time. We all knew this was likely a one-way trip. I'll do whatever it takes to stop the collectors, but I plan to live to tell about it. I'm glad you're in charge. <laughs> What's next? Miranda's like, fuck it, we're dying. Let's, is it safe here? Until the collectors find this landing zone. I do not detect an internal security network. It is possible the collectors do not expect anyone to reach the base. They're like, surely no one's that crazy, right? The sensors were hit like we were. They might not know we're alive. Surely no one would come after us, right? That'd be crazy. Ludicrous. <laughs> Aurelia showing up. <laughs> Anyways, I started blasting. <gasps> I'm so excited. I've had goosebumps. This is like the last 30 minutes. This isn't how we planned this mission, but this is where we're at. We can't worry about whether the Normandy can get us home. We came to stop the collectors. And that means coming up with a plan to take out this station. Edie, bring up your scans. You should be able to overload their critical systems if you get to the main control center here. That means going through the heart of the station, right past this massive energy signature. That's the central chamber. If our crew or any of the colonists are still alive, the collectors are probably holding them in there. Looks like there are two main routes. Might be a good idea to split up to keep the collectors off balance, then regroup in the central chamber. No good. Both routes are blocked. See these doors? The only way past is to get someone to open them from the other side. Okay, I just had a random thought as this is happening, but... If you were to play this, okay, I just, I, okay, hear me out. I just realized that when you complete every single person's loyalty mission, it said they no longer have any distractions from the main mission. They can complete, help you complete your main quest. So if you go through this and you don't do anyone's loyalty mission or you skip out on a couple of loyalty missions, there's a chance that they could get distracted. Like Thane could suddenly be like, my son, and then like fuck it up. Or Samara can be like, my daughter. What would have happened if I kept the gray box not destroyed? What's gonna happen with Morden's copy of the code? Oh, there's so many variables. I just started thinking about this because I had all the loyalty unlocked, which is good, which means everyone's gonna be focused, but like, oh man, oh man, I'm freaking out. Okay, 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 okay. Whew. A distraction? Blow the doors open. Look for alternates? Create a distraction. The team down each path. They can keep the collectors busy while someone else sneaks in through this ventilation shaft here. Practically a suicide mission. I volunteer. I appreciate the thought, Jacob, but you couldn't shut down the security systems in time. We need to send a tech expert. It's your call, Commander. Who do we send into the shaft? No! 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 I was about to make a joke, like, haha, Jacob, you just got shit on. Oh, Tally. Mechanical genius. I mean, she, uh, dude, she's the one that I need to send. I'm fucking sending Tally, and you know what? She's focused. I don't like this, but it's war, okay? Ultimately, what it comes down to is we are in wartime. This is a serious mission. We signed, we know what we signed up for. We recruited all these people to fulfill this task and potentially save the rest of the universe. So we can't be greedy. Now is not the time to think with our emotions. And even though I don't want to send her and I'm not going to cry, I'm not going to cry. 
It needs to happen, and she would gladly go, and we did her loyalty mission, so she's focused. And we're sending Tally. We need someone with tech skills to hack that security system. Tally, you're up. I won't let you down. Ah, the rest I'm of us crying! Will break into two teams and fight down each passage. That should draw the collector's attention away from what you're doing. I'll lead the second fire team, Shepard. We'll meet up with you on the other side of the doors. <laughs> Not so fast, cheerleader. Nobody wants to take orders from you. <laughs> this isn't a popularity contest. I'm crying. Are at stake. Shepard, you need someone who can command loyalty through experience. First person that comes through to mind is Garrus. A leader? Garrus. I trust him with my life. Or Zaid. Garrus, this is his chance to redeem himself because he got his other squad. Like, the, the whole thing happened, and this is his chance at redemption. I believe in him. I trust Garris, him with my life. You're in charge of the second team. Well, at least he knows what he's doing. <laughs> no room for mistakes. Once we're in, they're gonna throw everything they have at us. If we're weak, if we're slow, if we hesitate, we'll die. It's time for payback. The Collectors attacked our ship. They took our crew, our friends. They think we're helpless. They are wrong. They started a war, but we are not here to finish it. We're here to make them regret. To show them and everyone else what happens when you go too far. Hell yeah. No more running and no more waiting. Let's hit them where they live. Oh my god! <sighs> Am I just picking two again? Is this just... Oh god! Uh... I want Morden. But I don't know who I want the second one to be. Ah! Okay, after sitting here for like five minutes i think i think we're gonna do morden and legion because i don't have an idea i have no clue they've got like diverse abilities and guns assault rifles rifles sniper rifles pistols like eh, i think this will be good okay fuck it i think this is good i trust i trust yeah, heavy rifle, sniper rifle, submachine gun, hand cannon. Okay. Whew, I feel like I feel like I'm like actually here right now. <laughs> I'm so stressed. That's a good looking squad. That's a good looking squad. I'm fucking ready. Let's go. Oh my god. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. I trust Garrus with my life. He better make it out alive and tally. My baby boy and my baby girl. Shield boost. Neural shock. Fuck, okay. Spotted. Shepard, reinforcements. Can't get a lock. Where? Oh. Right there, Lyle. Can't reach the target. Hell 
yeah. See ya, nerd. Good team, good team. I think we made a good choice. Disable valves to unblock the path. Oh, we've got to do it on a time? Oh, sh oh shit. Oh, it's the fucking harbinger? Assuming control. Simple enough. Headed for combat. I'm fucking ready. Hell yeah. Three of eight. Let's go, baby. This is so cool. This is my favorite part of the whole series so far. Harbinger. Weak. You're weak. Nothing's more important than family. Let's go. Special is in danger. I got it. Two more. Nice work, Shepard. Continuing down the door. Can't get a lot of Shepard, reinforcements. Fuck. Here we go. Moving on. Should be near the end now. One more. The force contact. I will not go down. I will not go down. Where's the final one? Don't you fucking assume control on me. Where is he? Taking heavy. Okay, we're at six of eight. Thank God. Nice work, Shepard. Continuing down the tube. Uh. Oh. Simple enough. Uh. Kill that one. Hell yeah, baby. God, his voice is so good. Let's go! Come in! Look out! Sigur Swarm! Thank God. We're in position. We need this door open now. What if you just send someone random through the vent? Like, what if I just said, like, fuck it, I'm sending Thane? Everyone would have died. Come on. Present fire. Don't let anyone through that door. Hell yeah, Garrus. Let's go, baby. Nice work, Tally. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Shepard, you need to see this. <sighs> These are my war space buns for our war space game.
looks like one of the missing colonists. Oh my. Shepard Commander, additional humans. Like Ashley and stuff? God. She's still alive. Just all of these people? Dude, I don't think you can get them out of there. Can you? Oh, shit! What do they want with them? Dr. Chuck was... Are you okay? Shepard. You... you came for us. I didn't come for you. Jesus. No one gets left behind. Thank God you got here in time. A few more seconds and... I don't even want to think about it. The colonists were... processed. Those swarms of little robots, they... melted their bodies into grey liquid and pumped it through these tubes. Why are they doing this? What are they doing with our genetic material? I don't know. I'm just glad you got here before it happened to us. Genetic material. So are we. But we still have a job. Are they going to gonna try to use humans as husks so next? Let's hope we can finish the job. Wait. Joker, can you get a fix on our position? Roger that, Commander. All those tubes lead into the main control room. Right like they studied and the is blocked by a security door, but there's another chamber that runs parallel to the one you're in. I cannot recommend that. Thermal emissions suggest the chamber is overrun with seeker swarms. Morton's countermeasure cannot protect you against so many at once. Like what they- hold on. Like what they did with the Collectors and the Protheans and the Geth? Are they trying to recreate that and do it with the humans now? Take our genetic makeup to assume control? That's my best guess. I have no idea. What about biotics? Could we create a biotic field to keep them from getting near us? Yes. I think it may be possible. I wouldn't be able to protect everyone, but we might be able to get a small team through if they stayed close. I could do it too. In theory, any biotic could handle it. Shepard, who do you want to maintain the field? Biotic specialist? Uh, Samara. Or Jack. Or Miranda. Probably Samara or Jack. They're the most, like, unhinged biotic people that we have. And... Hmm. I'm gonna send Jack. I think Samara's had enough redemption. I think Jack needs to do something that'll, like, give her a purpose. Samara's a Justicar, and if Jack survives this, which we believe in her too because she's fucking rad, this will give her, like, internal motivation. Because right now she's just a lost soul. Jack and I will take a small team through the Seeker Swarms. The rest of you provide a diversion by going through the main passage. We'll open the security doors from the other side and meet you there. Who should lead the diversion team? What? Ah Create a diversion. We've already used Tally and Garrus. Okay. No. 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 Uh. 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 Ah. Uh. Uh. Ah. Uh. Uh. I'm honestly between one of these two.
What is this? The diversion? To create a diversion? I feel like it needs to be one of them because they've been with us from the start. Kind of spearheading this entire thing. Give them a chance to do something. Me and Miranda did just have that conversation today about how she has, like, all the perfection in the world, but she still hasn't, like, done anything. So maybe she needs also, like, kind of what I said with Jack, she needs an opportunity to, like, prove herself. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it! I'll keep the defenders busy while you slip in the back. What about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? We're in no shape to fight. Commander, we have enough systems back online to do a pickup, but we need to land back from your position. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. Not now. I have to do another decision? An escort? What the fuck? Have someone escort you. The mission comes first. Okay. We need immediate backup. We need to be picked up. Alright, they just said they're in no condition to fight. And I do care about my crew, believe it or not. Well, we'll escort I'll them. never make it without help. I'll send someone with you. Oh, this is a good mission for, like, a Zaid. I believe in him. This is- this is his- this is his go time. Joker, get me coordinates for the LZ. Fuck we'll yeah! Perfect choice. Sign. Let's move out. Hell yeah, brother. I- yeah. Oh yeah. Zaid's got this. Oh god. Oh god. What is this for? Is this just the final mission? Ha 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 ha! So many decisions! I'm gonna get everyone killed! Final mission. Morden? And Garrus? All right, we're gonna pick our boys. Fuck it, I'm ready. Moving out. Stay close if you want to live. Oh my god. Get back in the barrier. Oh. 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 The entire mission. Oh, I get it. All right. <laughs> oh. Swarms are interfering with radio contact. You ready for this? Let's go, Commander. Incoming. Oh Jesus! You've been spotted again. Fuck. There is no pain. There is no fear. Acquiring target. Are we about to have like a final battle? Oh Jesus. I can't fight back like this. Tell me when you're ready to move. My attacks will tear you apart. Are we done? Hell yeah. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move, Commander. I'm afraid. I'm very afraid. Oh, 
Angels, get ahead. Oh God. Hell yeah, baby. Incoming. Not the goth. Oh my. Assuming direct control. I'll be here. Let me know when you want to move. Our power is unmatched. Oh. I must tell you about I will. The forces of the universe oh, bend to that me. One. Oh. this happening i need answers all clear let me know when you're ready to move up commander ready to move let's go i'm so glad we gave jack a purpose i hope everyone survives ah, i made everyone loyal gives them a fighting chance right oh heck Come on. Enemy down. Could be a real firefight. I'll hold this position until you're ready to move out. Oh god, the scions. Oh Jesus. I'm out of ammo. On everything. I'm literally out of all ammo. He's gonna melee these hoes, I guess. I'm lit. Bro. All clear. I have no ammo. Out, Commander. Uh, this is good. This is good. This will be good. Um? Just have to punch these bitches. Trying to hold on. Oh. You good, dude? Sorry. Ammo. Can I just punch her to death? the entrance. Need to get there soon. You're doing great, Jack. Any ammo? Any ammo? Hell yeah. Hold on. We're almost there. We need to get out of here, Shepard. All right, let's move. Pushing. Keep it up. Hurry, Shepard. Oh, my God. Shouldn't unleash those powers in a long time. Jeez. Shepard, you copy? Made a good choice there. I copy. What's your position? We're at the door. They've got us pinned down. Let's go. We're coming. Just hold on. Get this door open. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
She's alive! <laughs> Joker, are you at the rendezvous point? I'm Everyone's alive. Chuck was and the rest of the crew just showed up. Zaid's crew just arrived, Shepard. Yes! No casualties. Excellent. Now let's make it count. Edie, what's our next step? There should be some nearby platforms that will take you to the main control console. From there, you can overload the system and destroy the base. Hell yeah. Commander, you got a problem. Hostiles massive just outside the door. Won't be long till I bust through. Oh shit. Uh, no, not again. I feel like if you leave someone behind to hold the door, they're going to get fucked. Like, there's no way. Right? Why? This is what? Decision number five? Can we just ditch the door? Fuck the door. Who cares about the door? I'm gonna throw up. A rear guard could defend this position and keep the collectors from overwhelming us. Fuck me, Pick man. Get a team to go with you, Shepard. Everyone else can bunker down here and cover your back. Oh! I'm picking my squad to go with me and then everyone else is holding back? Alright, I'm just gonna... I believe. I definitely want Morden and Garrus to survive. Not that I want anyone else to die. I should have just picked fuck the door. But then everyone die, like all the... I'm just gonna stick to my... Whatever. Whatever, fuck it. Life is gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Whatever happens, happens. I'm ready, Commander. Ready, as well. Fuck Anything it. to say before we do this? The Collectors, the Reapers, they aren't a threat to us. They're a threat to everything. Fuck everyone. it. Everyone. Those are the lives we're fighting for. That's the scale. <sighs> My decision matrix there was I just picked the people that I've been going with the whole time. And Garrus is like tankier, whereas Morden's like squishy. They're both special tack. I don't know. Fuck it. Whatever. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Whatever. It's been a long journey, and no one's coming out without scars. But it all comes down to this moment. We win or lose it all in the next few minutes. Make me proud. Make yourself. <sighs> we'll do our best. Good luck, Shepard. Please don't give me any more decisions. Please, I can't take it. I can't take it, dude. I literally can't. I can't. This design of like fighting style. Fuck. I was trying to just zap to him. Oh, I have to do the whole thing? Okay. 
I'm stressed. I'm a little bit stressed. I hope no one dies. That worked. Can I? Why can't I jump over it? Jump over it! There we go. Yeah, baby. Lego. Don't direct this personally. Your attack is There we go. Okay, that guy just flew off. Hostiles incoming. Enemies inbound. Oh my. Hitting their nerves. Tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. <sighs> if my calculations are correct, the superstructure is a Reaper. Not just any Reaper. been using the gray matter to what do the collectors gain by turning humans into this reaper shell they may be facilitating the reaper equivalent of reproduction or it may serve another purpose i do not have the data to speculate further however it is clear that the collectors are merely pawns the technology and ability needed to create this reaper is not their own it is likely that different species construct each reaper in this case, the Collectors provide the labor. The Collectors are just Protheans. Why would they help the Reapers? The Reapers subdued the Protheans long ago. Probability suggests they attempted to create a Prothean Reaper. Uh-huh. Over time, they adapted the Protheans to suit their needs, changed them, turned them into workers, tools for the Reapers. To create a... They're building it to look like a human. Why? It appears that a reaper's shape is based upon the species used to create it. Ew! Reapers are machines. Why do they need humans at all? Incorrect. Reapers are sapient constructs, a hybrid of organic and inorganic material. The They're making a titan. Methods are unclear, but it seems probable that the reapers absorb the essence of a species, utilizing it in their reproduction process. Ew! They're making a titan from fucking Attack on Titan. How many more humans do you think they'd try to take? Millions. Perhaps more. Impossible to know for certain. This Reaper appears to be in a very early stage of development. An embryo in human terms. Can we just bomb it? So it's not alive yet. 
We can still stop it from being created? The process can be stopped, but it is unclear exactly how much it has developed. I cannot, for example, tell you if it has awareness. Let's fucking take it down! It's too big for our guns. Edie, find me a way to blow this thing to hell. The large tubes injecting the fluid are a weak structural link. Destroying them should cause the supports to collapse and the Reaper to fall. Give us a minute, Edie. We've got to take care of some old friends first. Dude! So the Reaper that we destroyed was based off of the Protheans, and it failed. Fuck, I'm about to die. Hide! My attacks will tear you apart. The forces of the universe bend to me. Deploying incineration text. If I must tear you apart, Shepard, now I will. Taking heavy fire! You have merely delayed the inevitable. Hello? Whoa! I don't know what's going on. Hello? If I must tear you apart, Shepard. Hello? I don't know how Keep I survived that. Fuck. Dude! They're gonna need more humans? They've been abducting colonies. Not difficult. Oh, it's only one at a time. It's locked. Soft locked. On our right. How many more humans do they need, bro? Millions? Lost shields. Preserve Shepard's body if possible. Preserve my body? Stands against us. God damn. Injection tube. Shoot them. Fuck. Shot ready. Hitting their nervous system. Shoot the tube. Dude. Inject These guys are fucked up. Shepard's ground team, status report. It's safe. We are holding, but they keep coming. A quick exit is preferable. Head to the Normandy. Joker, prep the engines. I'm about to overload this place and blow it sky high. Roger that, Commander. Shepard, you've done the impossible. I'm not finished here yet. The space is ten minutes from extinction. Wait. I have a better option. I'm looking at the schematics Edie uploaded. A timed radiation pulse would kill the remaining collectors, but leave the machinery and technology intact. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that framework could save us. No! But then there's a chance it could come back. It's not exactly portable. What are you suggesting? Our best chance against the Reapers is to turn their own resources against them. They were working directly with the Collectors. Who knows what information is buried there? This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. You're completely ruthless. The next thing I know, you'll be wanting to grow your own Reaper. My goal is to save humanity from the Reapers, at any cost. I've never hidden that from you. 
Imagine how many lives could be saved if we keep this base intact and use its knowledge to thwart the Reapers. Imagine the lives that will be lost if we don't. No matter what kind of technology we might find, it's not worth it. Shepard, you died fighting for what you believed. I brought you back so you could keep fighting. Some would say what we did to you was going too far, but look what you've accomplished. I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. I mean... Fuck! Oh, okay, like... Can I phone a friend? I feel like if we keep this thing alive, if we keep any of the technology, everyone's just gonna be like, what the fuck? Like, what's the potential that we would even get out of it by keeping it alive? I feel like if I keep this thing alive, everyone's gonna be like, what the fuck? That's ultimately kind of what it comes down to, and I feel like taking it and using it, like my gut is saying, get the f get get rid of this thing. And it's a suggestion from the elusive man, and he's already sus. We don't need it. We'll fight and win without it. I won't let fear compromise who I am. Shepard, think about what's at stake. About everything Cerberus has done for you. You. We're destroying this fucking thing. My gut is saying destroy it. I don't know what the consequences are for the next game. I don't know. Let's move. We got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. I don't care. I don't care. We're blasting this thing to the smithereens. Got it. What? Did that even hit it? Dude, what the fuck? We're fighting the Titan? Hello, Morden! Everyone's dead. Dude, this is some ass. Terrifying. Ah! Is that a vertebrae or are you just happy to see me? Go away! This thing is so scary. I used my big boom boom on it and it didn't even. It didn't even die. Whoa! Oh my god, 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 Papa? Stop it! Stop! I have two bullets. 
Woods. To tear you apart, Shepard, I will. God, Jesus, dicks. Fuck! D heal! Where are its weak points? I just keep shooting it in the eyeball, bro. Dude. To fight the larva? Whoa! Oh my god. Okay. I have nothing. Where is he? Where is he? Let me at him. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's almost dead. This is the coolest fight I've seen in a game. I think. For a game that's almost 15 years old. Holy dicks. Morning! Baby boy, no! Oh my god. Where's Garrus? Oh my god, I'm gonna f I'm gonna pass out. <sighs> Morden! Thank God. This music. Do you copy? Commander! Joker! Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground oh, team please. make it? Oh, please. Please, please. All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Is that Tally? All survivors on board? Survivors? You've changed nothing. Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Come on. All survivors? She made it through the ducts! How did she die?
Dude, Shepard just keeps living. She just keeps holding on. Control to what? Oh my god, that was beautiful. Need answers. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time and money. Spare me the lecture. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing you. Getting a lot of bullshit on this line. Don't try my patience. The technology from that base could have secured human dominance in the galaxy against the Reapers and beyond. Human dominance or just Cerberus? Strength for Cerberus is strength for every human. Cerberus is humanity. I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic. What have I done for you? Huh. Oh. Oh. He has a problem with how we run things around here? Who's been doing everything since this whole fucking thing started? You brought me back, and I have literally been doing all of the hard work. Oh, and I choke on a hard decision? Oh, fuck you! I know what you are and the price of dealing with you. We do things my way from now on. Harbinger is coming and he won't be alone. I'm gonna make sure we're ready when they get here. You can fall in line or step aside, but don't get in my way. You're sure that's what you want? You're taking a hell of a risk, Shepard. I don't think so. I'm gonna stop the Reapers, but I won't sacrifice the soul of our species to do it. Yeah. Well, he just sits and plays in the shadows, not lifting a finger. games I've ever played. Holy shit! I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm actually dead. Oh my god! <laughs> How did we lose so 
another one! I need to start Mass Effect 3 right now! How did she die? I didn't even have time to cry! They didn't explain anything! I mean, obviously I'm like really sad because Tally is an OG and we just had that sweet conversation with her and she like risked everything to be with us. But the fact that, the fact that everyone else survived, I feel like is good. I mean, she's, we've sent her through the fucking vent. We sent her through the vent and she was fine. She survived that. I don't know what to do with my life. I can't believe she, she's been with us. Can I restart the game? I don't know. I'm going to need some time to think about this, but until then, uh, I guess we're gonna do the Overlord stuff if I still can and then start Mass Effect 3 Or God this music is beautiful or you have, whoa, you have stopped the creators from creating a human reaper. You now have two choices. Continue this game, complete unfinished missions, develop relationships, play downloaded content, explore the galaxy, import Shepard, start a new game with this character at your current level with your current. Whoa. Or. Or. I've played this game for all 40 hours. What the fuck have I been doing for 40 hours? I thought this game was only supposed to be like 20 hours long. Am I a dirty little scum saver? We're saving Tally. I don't give a fuck. We're saving our baby girl. Second team, are you in position? In position. Meet you on the other side of those doors. Targeting forwards. I don't care if this is gonna take away my my lifespan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bald because of this game. Doing it again. Trust me, guys, I don't want to be doing this either. It's for Tally! I don't even know what any of this is. Whatever. 
I did everything right. I felt like I did everything right. We sent her through the shaft, which was good. Garrus was the second commander, which was good. Miranda felt good. The only, like, kind of off decision that I made was sending a DLC character. I chose Zaid to... ...do stuff. My attacks will tear you apart. I threw my shield. Direct intervention is necessary. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm trying. Beep boop. Beep 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 boop. Beep beep beep. Cheese, help! Oh. Fuck. I did not mean to do that. We fight as one. The forces of the universe bend to me. You will know pain, Shepard. There. I'm coming. Bugs. One more. Okay. Jesus fucking Christ. There. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. The colonists were prosper. I don't know. I yes. Biotic specialist. Jack, that was good, I think. Jack and I. Who should lead the diversion? The diversion? Oh, maybe this is. Okay. Is this where I fucked it? Picking Zaid? I'll keep the defenders busy. You what about me and the rest of the crew, Shepard? Commander? We have enough systems. We can't afford to go back, Shepard. All right. Not now. Escort. You'll never make it without help. I'll send some. All right, so me picking Zaid here was bad. Joker, need location of landing zone. We'll meet you there. We've all got our assignments. Let's move out. Okay. We'll do Miranda and Tally. I'm switching this gun. I hate it. Okay. Moving out. Stay close if you want to live. I am curious, like, if I let Tally die. How that would impact Mass Effect 3. I know that would make a lot of people sad, but I mean, that is the point. 
you know, like having unique experiences and unique playthroughs. Did anyone else have Tally die in their playthrough? Ready for this? Like, what happens if Tally dies? I don't want to know, actually. Like, because I don't want to. I don't want to get like spoiled on Mass Effect 3, but she is one of the like OG characters. I feel like that's letting Incoming. that's like letting Garrus die. You know? Okay. I wonder if Shepard can die. Can I die? What do you do then? Oh my god. Get out of here, Harbro. What do you do without the main character? This is where I ran out of ammo. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Ready. Ready to move, Commander. Oh, ammo. I'm desperate. Gimme. Hostile engaged. Ammo. Oh, I have to fight the stupid thing again, bro. Hostiles, dead ahead. Trouble ahead. Here we go. Keep popping them up. Keep. Boop. There we go. All clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. I'm ready. Let's go. The only thing that I I think that I didn't think through was like secondary and tertiary wise. So like I sat here agonizing over the choices, but also At the same time, like sending Garrus and Zaid out as two like strong people and leaving quote squishy people behind, I guess. But I mean, you still have like Grunt and others that are capable of like, I don't know. I think I overthought it enough and I still got people killed. Only one person. I don't know if everyone's gonna even survive this round. Honestly, I don't know if I'm gonna keep people alive in this go, but I did say, I mean, I did save nice everyone but one. So I'm personally like proud and I would have been okay living with the consequences of my actions. Believe it or not, I would have. Um, Could be a real firefight. 
been fine with that. But I feel like Tally is just going to be a big part of, like, the story. I don't know anything about Mass Effect 3, FYI. I don't know what setting it takes place and I don't even know if we're playing as Commander Shepard. Like, I don't know jack about shit. But, given she's an OG, I don't want an OG character dying. Because she's been there from the start. That was kind of my rationale going into it. I'm not here to be like, oh, I'm going to keep playing this until everyone survives. Because that's unrealistic, you know, like... I don't know. I'm not expecting everyone to live, but... Jesus Christ. Clear. Let me know when you're ready to move up, Commander. Moving out, Commander. Hello, Key. Ammo? Good job, Jack. You're doing great. See the entrance. Need to get there soon. Boop. Got Jack. So basically, when we get to this squad part, we need to keep some people behind. I can watch the door. Excellent. Yeah, so what I did here, my thought process was I'll bring someone strong with me and I'll bring someone more squishy with me. Like, I picked Garrus and Morden so that I would have better defenses. But I think that the move is keeping stronger people back here and then taking squishier people with me? Like my logic, my train of thought matched with what I was doing. However, I need to pick people that would be able to help me, but like strong people to stay behind. So Garrus, I can't take him on this mission with me. I think that he's too strong, if that makes sense. I think that's where I fucked up. We'll do... Yeah, and Zaid was gone because I sent him on the escort mission, so... We have a bunch of strong fighters. I'll bring, like, Miranda. And then I could bring... Tally, so we definitely don't lose her this time. But Miranda's strong, too. If we bring Miranda and Tally, we definitely can't lose Tally. I can't wait to read the comments for this video. They're gonna be all over the place. So many comments. Everyone's gonna be like, I can't believe you did it. You wench. You save scumming wench. And then people are gonna be like, oh my god, I'm so glad you went back. Yes, queen. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna get shit on. So am I. Anything to say? Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da save scum. Wow, great words of wisdom. Whispering words of wisdom, let it be. Enemies incoming. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Whispering words of wisdom, let it be. Why can I never jump over this stupid... Stinky. Platform. Hello, Loki. Hello, Loki, Mr. Loki. Yeah, I just left too many squishy people behind, I think. I believe in this round. 
I'm not saying I'm okay with people dying, but as long as it's not <laughs> Tally and some of the originals. Damn, he just got fucking launched. Can't target them. Can't get a lock. Can't get a lock. Enemies incoming. Oh yeah, the double platform. Oh, we got this. We are your genetic destiny. This hurts you. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. We are the harbinger of your destiny. Your form is fragile. Got you. Boop. Where'd he go? Ew. Shotgun time. You will Face your annihilation. Hell yeah, baby. Kitties are awake. Hi, Loki. They're like, Mother, are you okay? This is it. All the tubes lead to this spot. Edie, what can you tell us? What are they doing? The tubes are feeding into some kind of superstructure. It is emitting both organic and non organic energy signatures. Given these readings, it must be massive. Shepard, if my calculations are correct, the superstructure. Is a reaper. Not just any reaper. Dude. This reveal? Actually insane. Actually insane. Take care of some old friends first. Mm. Enemies incoming. Heavy weapons. Here we go. Hold that. Can't target them. This person. Down you are. Your power is unmatched. If I Shields must tear you apart, mm. Shepard, no, I will. Hell yeah. Yeet. Shoot the injection tubes. Hell yeah. Dude. Oops. Human Reaper is actually insane. Insane how much influence this still has to this day. Like I'm playing this in 2023, and that still blew my mind. A good narrative supersedes time. Personally, assuming control. Shepard, 
Shoot the injection tube. Here we go. That's Tally. Can't reach the target. Can't reach the target. Oh shit, here we go. Shoot. There's our boy. Head to the Normandy. We're getting a call from the elusive man. Not finished here. Wait. I'm looking. This is our chance, Shepard. They were building a Reaper. That knowledge, that our best chance. They were work. This base is a gift. We can't just destroy it. No matter what Shep kind of Some would say, I didn't discard you because I knew your value. Don't be so quick to discard this facility. Think of the potential. Fuck it. We'll fight Miranda. Oh, what? I gave you an Whoa. order, Miranda. I noticed. <gasps> Consider this my resignation. Shepard, think about what's at stake. About everything Cerberus has done oh, for you. Oh, shit! You Okay, I skipped through like one little piece of it, but dude, wait, did she just quit? Let's move. We got 10 minutes before the reactor overloads and blows this whole station apart. Oh, shit. <gasps> Let's go. Consider this my resignation. God damn. Let's get it. I'm glad I picked Miranda for this mission. That's insane. I'm a wait. We gave her something worth fighting for. Where's this thing? This looks like the freaking Terminator. Everyone's dead. Why is everyone dead? Y'all good? Oh. Owie. There we go. Melt, melt him like a barbecue. Where are you at? The girls. Dude, he's almost dead. I know you feel this. Yes! Oh my god, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, I'm so stressed. First try. Tally's alive. Miranda's alive. Copy? Commander, come on, Shepard, don't leave me hanging. Do you copy? I'm here, Joker. Did the ground team make it? All survivors on board. We're just waiting for you. Survivors? Human. You've changed. There's no, like... Your species has the attention of those infinitely or greater. I didn't show any feet this time. That which you know as Reapers are your salvation to destruction. Detonation. She 
Jeez. This is one of the best games. All the big bugger boys, here they come. I can't believe they're leaving us off on this cliffhanger, bro. With all the bug boys coming towards us. How long? How? Hold on. Mass Effect 3. Release date. 2012, okay. Only two years later. Only two years later. Shepard, you're making a habit of costing me more than time. Sorry, I'm having trouble hearing Don't you. The technology. Human dominance? Cerberus, I should have known you'd choke on the hard decisions. Too idealistic from the start. You're on my team now. I made you. I brought you back from the dead. I've done what you asked. And I'm gonna do exactly what you brought me back to do. Hell yeah. No one left behind. Oh! Oh. Different cutscene. Because I was patting the thing at the end. The casket. Mm hmm. Oh, my God. Loki, look at it. Look at it. Isn't it beautiful? Why does he look so depressed? He looks so depressed. Loki. Sally's okay. She's okay, Loki. Mwah. He doesn't know what's happening. Not a thought in his head. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you guys in Mass Effect 3!